Hi, I'm Wanda Alger, and I wanted to share with you today uh, a very important word that came out of our uh, corporate worship experience this morning at church. Uh, we are seeing a pattern that is showing uh, what God wants to do within the body of Christ and what he wants to do with you. You know, what we've been noticing is that much more of our ministry time is happening amongst the body the family ministering to one another. You know, for years we get so used to just watching the platform and what the ministers do and, and laying hands on people, but we are entering into a time God wants to baptize the body of Christ. Just as he baptizes individuals, maybe you've experienced that baptism or infilling of the Holy Spirit where you received power, you received confidence that you didn't have before. This is what God wants to do corporately. And because of that, there is a grace coming to the body of Christ where when you join with a local fellowship, when you really join with and become a part of the body of Christ, you will be receiving a divine enablement, empowerment, and grace to do things that you could never do on your own. And I believe that he's speaking to various kinds of people. One of the kinds of people, and this might be you, is someone that's known the Lord for a long time, but you've been very hurt by the church. You've been disappointed. You've you felt let down. And you're afraid to trust again. You're afraid to step in. And so you've really been kind of hanging out on the sidelines, just kind of watching. Let me tell you, you're going to stay stuck until you trust your Heavenly Father because He has given you grace in this hour to step in again. Trust Him that He's going to lead you to the right people. He's going to lead you to the right place where you can be who He created you to be. You will never fulfill your destiny alone. You are going to stay stuck. But it's the Spirit of God that's drawing you. Because of the spiritual DNA that you carry, you are intricately connected to the body of Christ, whether you want to admit it or not. And he's saying, come on, you got to trust again. Because when you join in, that's where you're going to find healing. That's where you're going to find healing from that bitter root. That's where you're going to find that connection that you've been longing for and where gifts are going to come alive that have been dormant because there are things that you, you cannot experience and you will not encounter apart from the body of Christ. Now, there's another kind of individual, and that is someone that's known the Lord for, for a, a long time, but this is a new season. He's saying, listen, there's some new things I want to do in you but you can't do them if you're not connected with the right people. For some of you, that means even healthy spiritual fathers and mothers that you need in your life. Again, we need each other. We need the fullness of the body. In Ephesians, it talks about the fullness of him. You know, Christ is the head of the church. You can't love Christ and not love his body. This is what we're experiencing more and more in this hour is that Jesus is saying, listen, if you love me, then love my body. And that means you need to get connected and decide to join in, not just visit, not just watch, but engage. Now, there's also another kind of person, and that is someone that maybe you've never been a part of, of a spiritual family. Maybe you've grown up without even a, a natural family that you feel close to. There is a longing and even an orphan spirit that God wants to bring healing to and a fullness to, it's going to happen within the context of the body. There is a grace being poured out right now that that which you feel stuck in, that which you feel limited in, that which you feel has hindered you, he's saying step in, get connected, and joined with the body of Christ. And there will be a grace and a power to meet you that's going to launch you and enable you to fulfill some of the things that have been in your heart. Some of these things have even been uh, lying dormant and hidden. they have even been hidden from you. The Lord has purposely hidden them from you until you find that place where you connect. Because when the pieces connect together, it's like you can see the picture, it makes sense. This is what God is doing. And, and there are things that uh, God is going to show you individually in your gifts, in your families. There's going to be uh, miracles, signs, wonders. You need to look at the book of Acts. So many times if you read through the whole book of Acts, it talks about this great grace that was upon them all. Signs, wonders, and miracles. Amazing thing. Holy Spirit being poured out when they were together. Oneness of heart. Unity. You love Jesus. You love the body. You love the bride. This is the healing and the reconciliation that God is doing. If you are connected to a body, I encourage you, let's pray and believe for God to do some amazing things because it is body life right now. It is connecting one to another, realizing the power 
of covenant relationship. I mean committed relationships, okay? Again, not just being an observer and kind of saying, well, I'll give it a try as long as it feels good. We gotta get rid of that. This means I'm joining myself to the body of Christ because I need the body and the body needs me. The body needs you and you need the body. And when you honor Christ in that way and you just obey him and, and trust him with these steps, we're gonna see things uh, come to a, a level and a degree that we've not ever seen it since the book of Acts. I mean, that was just a launching pad. What God wants to do in this next day uh, is gonna be incredible. So be encouraged. You are a part of the body of Christ. Step in, join with, and you are gonna fulfill your scroll that's written about you. I tell you, it's a good time to be alive. Amen.